Hello and welcome to our WeasonAuction.com buying video. So before you buy any books on our website, you have to sign in. If you haven't got a sign in account yet, you will have to register. So if you click on the register button here, if you're on our mobile site, you'll see three little lines next to our logo. Click on that and then the, uh, the registration button will appear. So in the register, you just uh, enter some uh, straightforward fields. So a username that you create with a strong password, your email address, which you need to confirm, uh, your name, phone number, date of birth, uh, your address information, this is where you want the books to be sent, and finally uh, you need to tick the I agree to terms and conditions, which if you click on here it will take you to them, and beautiful read there, and finally our newsletter which we send out, it's well received, so um, it's well worth a, a tick next to that one. Once you've done that, you click on the complete registration button at the bottom of the screen. Now what that will do, and people ask me why this happens, once you click that, it will send you an email just to check that your email address that you've entered here is correct. I would say about 1 in 20 have got typos. Now if your email address isn't correct, you cannot communicate on the site or anything like that, so it's very important that the email address is perfect, which is why we ask for you to verify your email. So clicking on complete registration will email uh, a little message saying, please click this link to confirm that this is correct the correct email address. Once you click it, you will then be um, completely registered. So the two types of books on the website, you have the buy now books, which are just like a shop and you can buy straight away. The second type are the auction ones, which have an end date and you have to bid up to that end date. Um, any late bids, it extends the auction by a couple of minutes and the person with the highest bid wins that book. So for the buy nows, let's say I wanted to buy an 1866 Wiston. I'm, I'm looking for an early one, so I just type in 1866 in search. And oh, some nice ones here. This one looks fabulous. Oh, yes. It doesn't have original covers, but it's a little bit cheaper because of that. And it fits my set perfectly. So you can either click on buy now here for the price of 2950 And then it will just ask you to confirm it. Or I think, oh, it's excellent here, but I want to save myself 50 quid. So you can click on make an offer. This is assuming this, the seller has allowed you to make an offer on the book. And you can type in 2900 let's say. Um, Please consider my offer. And then click review, 2,900 please, and then submit. And then that will send a an email to the seller and they will consider your offer. They'll accept it. If so, there's a, a purchase that takes place or they could counter it or reject it. Either way, you'll be emailed of their decision. It's up to the seller whether they have the make offer option available. So this button will appear or not, uh, depending on whether the option is there. Now, once you've bought a book, you get to check out. The nice little checkout button appears on the left-hand side. Now, if PayPal is selected by the seller, then you can go through the PayPal system. We're trying to push uh, bank transfers because that's the easiest way to pay. Given that, the seller will invoice you with their bank details. So I've select checkout. I want to see which way it are. Oh, it's a special book, so I'll select special delivery as the postage option. And as you can see, the seller here has got PayPal, so I can check out with PayPal. That will take me to the PayPal website and I'll process it through PayPal and then the purchase has been completed. If the seller doesn't accept PayPal, that button doesn't appear, but they will send you an invoice shortly afterwards and it will have their uh, the bank details on it for you to do a bank transfer or an address to send a check to. For the auction items, if I just want to have a look at the newest books that are on the website, you'll see on the filter here we've got all or we've got auction or we've got fixed price. If I click on auction here, this will then restrict the listing to the auction. So if you want to bid on one of these books, you'll see that the bid price here is £8. Paging down a little bit. Various things we can bid on. Lily Whites. There's a quick bid option where if you click that, you'll quickly bid £20. Don't forget you have to be logged in at this stage. Or you can click onto the item and enter whichever bid that you want. The website will bid for you. So if this is £20, if you bid 100 here, it will only go up to the next slot of £22 until somebody uh, outbids you or bids you up towards your £100 bid. Some items have a, an auction and a buy now system and an offer system. So you can... Uh, See, all three options are available here. You can do a quick bid, you can put in a bid for an auction, you can buy it and have £30, or you can actually make an offer. When you've won an auction, the checkout process is exactly the same as buying a buy now book. Now, once you've purchased a book, if you click on the My Account section at the top here, you will go to My Account Home at the bottom. 
and this will take you to a summary page on the right hand side you'll see the my bidding section and you'll see that we've won one item that is a waiting payment so that's pretty much telling you that there's still payment to happen in this process now if you sent a check or done a bank transfer then you would need to wait for the seller to actually click on the website to say they've received the funds if you want to contact the uh, the seller for any reason you can click on these options here and then next to the book that you want to contact the seller on you'll see these three little dots here if i click on here it will click on contact and on the contact you can send a message to the seller once you receive the book and you're really happy with it then you can also leave feedback so you can click on the submit feedback in the same section rating five star amazing book and click save Finally, all our sellers reduce the postage if uh, you buy multiple items and the postage seems rather high. If that's the case, once you've purchased the items, just click on the contact seller and ask them if they can lower the postage. They'll do it automatically pretty much, but don't pay with PayPal. Just wait for the seller to contact you and then you can uh, converse in, in whichever way to, to get the postage to the correct amount. If you ever need to contact us at admin, if your page down to the bottom of the screen, you can see the contact us page. If you provide your name, and email address pop a message in here and we get back to you uh, as soon as we possibly can to check your messages on the website all you have to do is log in and on the my account section you'll see view messages here um, due to data protection i won't click on it because they're real messages um, but uh, that is how you see your messages and you can click on them and reply and have a conversation through the website now please don't forget to check out our sister websites. We've got wisdoms.org, which is an information website. We've also got wisdom.club, which is a forum where you can chat about wisdoms and have a good rant about the cricket. The forum is nearly 20 years old. It's got such rich information about wisdom collecting. It is well worth a visit. So that's www.wisdom.club.